Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at cattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a gingerbread house. I take one finger over here on the left and I put a dot. And from that dot I draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line all the way over to the right. I come right in the center and I put two fingers and I put another dot. Starting on the left I draw a wavy, wavy line down on the left. Come back to the dot. I draw a wavy, wavy line down on the right. Come back to the left and draw a wavy, wavy line connect on the left and a wavy, wavy line down connect on the right. Now I come over to the left hand side and right about here I put another dot. And from that dot on the left I draw a wavy line down on the left. Come back to the dot, wavy line down on the right. Come back to the left, draw a wavy, wavy line down, connect. Come back to the right, wavy, wavy line, connect on the right. Now I come over on the right hand side and right about here I put another dot. And from that dot I draw a wavy, wavy line down on the left. Come back to the dot, a wavy, wavy line down on the right. Come back to the left and draw a wavy, wavy line down, connect. Now come to the right, wavy, wavy line down, connect on the right. Now what I do is I start over here on the left and I draw a wavy, wavy line up and a wavy, wavy line down. Boom, it crashes into there and I stop. I come on the right hand side and I draw a wavy, wavy line up and a wavy, wavy line down until it crashes into that side. Now, starting on this section on the left, I draw a wavy, wavy line up and a wavy, wavy line down. Okay? Right about here, I draw a slightly curved line one, slightly curved line two, slightly curve line three, connect. Right on the top I draw curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Coming away from there I draw curve line, curve line, curve line, leave it open. Now we do an overlap, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. And now we're just going to leave one floating, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Okay, I come all the way over here to the left hand side and I draw a curve line up, connect, come over here on the bottom and draw a slightly curved line out, connect. If you have room you can even draw another curve straight line down, connect on the left. Now I come over here on the right, <clears throat> excuse me, and I draw a big curve line out, in connect. Now I draw a slightly curved line down, connect, and if you can fit it, another curved line there. Come back to the left, we're going to draw little curved lines all the way down this section. Come over here on the right, draw a little curved line, if you can fit it in, curved lines all the way down to the bottom. Okay? Now I come over here on the top part of the left and I draw one, two, three, four straight lines. If you have room, one, two, three, four straight lines. And over here on the right, one, two, three, four straight lines on the right. I go back to the left and I draw baby circles on the bottom and the top of each one of the straight lines all the way around. Come to the second one. Little baby circles all the way around. At the end, 
of each one of these straight lines. One more all the way around baby circles at the end of each one of these straight lines. Okay, now I'm going to fill in the inside part. Starting on the left, straight line up, curve line over, straight line down, straight line over, connect. Come inside and draw one straight line, and then one, two, three, four straight lines across, starting at the top, baby circles all the way around, down, over, up, keep going, done. Now I come on the right hand side, I'm going to do the same thing. Straight line up, curve line over, straight line down, straight line over, connect. Fill in the inside with a straight line. One, two, three, four straight lines. All the way around the edge, baby circles, baby circles, baby circles. Now, some people will have more lines because we all draw differently. Some people will have less lines. It's all up to you on how big or little you draw. Now I come to the main section up here in the center and I draw a circle. I put a dot inside and then I draw wavy lines to the edge all the way around. I come down here and I draw a big straight line, curve line, straight line down. Inside, I draw a straight line, curve line, straight line, straight line, connect. And inside here, I do, again, straight line down, one, two, three, four straight lines, and baby circles all the way around the edge. Now, some of you might go, I am so tired of drawing. Just remember, if you do the drawing correctly, when we get to the coloring part, you're going to be surprised how easy it is. Right about here, I'm going to draw a baby circle. And now, I'm going to start drawing wavy, wavy lines all the way around this edge in the middle. Wavy or curved lines, curved line, curved line on the bottom. Jump over, curved line, curved line on the bottom over here on the right. <clears throat> If you have room, you can add some curved lines on the inside of each one of these sections. This is if you have room. If you don't, it's okay. Curve lines. We're just adding more lines for decorations. Okay. Down at the bottom, let's just do some wavy lines. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, I think I've drawn everything. I never know until I start coloring. Okay, let's see how we are going to color this. Okay, the easiest thing to do so you can see what part is gingerbread and what part is the icing is to color the gingerbread first. So this is all brown. And this is all brown because this is all of gingerbread, the gingerbread part. All of those wavy lines and curved lines, that's the icing. So this is kind of easy to color in because you don't have to deal with any of that. That's all going to be left white. But the easiest thing to do is to color in your gingerbread so you can kind of get an idea of what it is you're coloring. And the chimney should be gingerbread also. Okay? Now, I used a lot of red for my candy canes over here on the sides. So this was all red and white. A, B, A, B pattern. I used this as a candy cane disc. So this should be A, B, A, B, A, B pattern. And I came in and I did blue for my snowflakes, all the little baby circles. These are all blue all the way, all three of these. And then, because I really wanted it to kind of look like a snowscape, I added blue straight lines just to give it a little bit more of a winter wonderland look. 
So I did blue stripes all the way across with my blue crayon. Then I came in and I did yellow for the insides of my windows. These are my windows on my door. I did my door handle, doorknob yellow. This is all yellow. All of these sections are yellow. I gave myself a green door. You can color any color you want. And then I was thinking all these little baby circles, these remind me of candies like m and m so I picked three colors. I did green, light green, orange, and purple, and did all of my window decorations with the same color pattern. Okay? Now, if I were you, and I'm not, but if I were you, I would probably draw my gingerbread house all one day because it's pretty intense and then the following teaching session I would color it all in because you want them to turn out nice. You want to take your time. All right let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay here's my gingerbread house all colored in ready for the holidays. Okay bye bye.